Billionaire Ray Dalio predicts the return of the money printing spree and says the Federal Reserve is continuing to lose money. Yes, the billionaire investor Ray Dalio, a big gold advocate, believes it's only a matter of time before the Federal Reserve loosens its monetary policies. Yes, he said that. I can already hear it printing. In a new Fox Business interview, Dalio says that central banks around the world are losing money due to the high interest rate environment. According to Dalio, the rise in interest rates over the past year or so has been so costly to a lot of central banks as they have to pay more whenever they borrow capital. And he said, I quote, we have central banks who have lost a lot of money. Central banks themselves have lost a lot of money. All of them are pretty much are not making losses to market, but they have all experienced big capital hits to the point of negative capital. Wow. In those countries where there are rules about negative capital, like the UK, they have to go get capital from the government. Imagine that, we just did that in 2020. That dynamic means that the government has to come up with more money. That equals about 2% of the GDP in the UK. So that means that the budget deficit is going to be 2% of GDP. Where do they get the money? Where does it all come from? They have to borrow the money or they have to tax it to print it. Looking at the United States, Dalio went on to say, the Federal Reserve is continuing to lose money as it keeps interest rates higher for longer periods of time. Further, the billionaire notes that the Fed will eventually have to resort to printing money in order to cover the losses. It just makes sense, right? In the United States, it won't matter much. There will be these losses, but those kinds of losses create a compounding effect in debt, Dalio went on to say. When you have the losses and you're producing losses because you're making money and you have a negative income because of where interest rates are, where the short rates are, where the long rates are, and after that, how they own long rates and they have to pay out short rates, that becomes spread negative. That becomes very costly, my friends. And at the end of the day, you print money and that's the nature of the dynamic. That's what Ray said. So what happens when the US prints money? Let's take a deep dive into what exactly happens when this bad boy is fired up to the tune of trillions of dollars. Well, unless you've been living under a rock the last few years, or you have a really good sugar daddy that pays all of your bills, the cost of goods has absolutely gone through the roof. I'm gonna talk about my personal experience with that in a second, but this is called inflation. You all know that by now. Please subscribe to our channel. We talk about it all the time. This is what we cover. When Venezuela printed $4 billion of its currency, the bolivars, Inflation went as high as 4,200%. Yes, 4,200%, that's not a typo. I live here in beautiful Weston, Florida. People jokingly call it Weston Suela because we are heavily populated with people who've come and fled their home country for a better life. I can't argue that. Weston's always rated number one in the United States and sometimes in the world. It's a great place. Now these people, a lot of them my friends, loved Venezuela. They hated leaving. It's a gorgeous country that turned communist and they were living in a lawless society. So here they are in my backyard of Weston. Not this backyard, but you know, they're around. Bringing it back home in 2020, the US fired up this little printer right here to the tune of $3.3 trillion in just over three months. You may think prices are out of control here. I know I do, but we barely touched 9%. Compare that to Venezuela, 4,200%. Now that 9% hurts, but when you compare it to Venezuela, my friends, it's really not that bad. And I'm not defending it, trust me, I'm on the other side, but it sucks. Egg prices went from $1.40 in 2019 to 286 in 2022. Chicken wings, one of my favorite weekend cheat meals, went from 250 a pound to 390 in the same period. Oh, I can taste the buffalo sauce right now. It's getting expensive. Beef and veal, two of my other favorites, up over 20%. Pork, 14%. Fish, seafood, it's all more expensive. They're at about, they're at about 11% right now. Further. The US, being the big giant that it is, is actually helping other countries, and helping, I put in quotes, like India, to have their own problems with inflation. Yes, it is a domino effect. And they must be like, geez guys, thanks. Thanks so much, big brother. Do you guys see why inflation sucks now? Let's talk about why inflation hurts us, why firing up the money printer hurts us. Let me give you an example. Imagine you're on an island with three people. Each of you gets 10 pieces of fruit. Now, every piece of fruit you have there is equal in value. These are your assets, your currency, and your form of trade, your day-to-day -day living. One day you walk through the jungle and you find a mango tree. It's fully stocked with mangoes, more mangoes than you could ever dream of. Now, the nominal value of mangoes has increased because there's more mangoes, but 
the actual value of the mangoes tanks, since anyone can go to this tree and pick their own mango. Makes sense, right? There's an abundance, you can go pick it, the value goes down. So using them in trade, it'll now cost you 10 mangoes to trade for one banana. Since the mango's value is so low, but there's still a demand for bananas. Follow me there? So in this example, the people you are with are all representative of their own countries. The fruits are their currencies, and the mango tree is the money printing system that is the United States. To summarize my analogy, increasing the supply of money decreases its value since it's so easy to obtain. And this, my friends, creates inflation as prices of goods and services must increase to keep up with the current supply of money in circulation. It's just that simple. Now let me tell you about, here's how we run into trouble with this scenario, right? When the cost of goods and services increase at a rate that exceeds the rate that we earn money, our day-to-day -day living, our jobs, our side hustles, whatever it is, however you make your money, our necessities become unaffordable. Right now, I'm looking at my necessities like steak and chicken wings. I know you guys are looking at yours and I know some of you guys can agree with me, especially if you guys are football fans, we're right in season right now, steak and chicken wings, baby, every weekend. But when those are going up, it's not good, right? I feel it every weekend. So what can we do here, given that Ray Dalio says, this printer is gonna fire up soon? Well, the number one thing you can do is diversify your portfolio. And what Ray did is Ray's a huge gold advocate. We speak about it a lot on this channel. It's the number one way to fight and safeguard your portfolio from inflation. Gold and silver and other precious metals are perceived store value. They go up when inflation goes up. This currency right here has never made it. None of this. It's garbage, it's trash. It's only useful because you can get things with it. But the price of gold backed bars and coins have use cases behind them. You could burn this for a fire and that's about its only use case that it's got right there outside of trade. There's silver in my watch. There's gold in appliances. I've got a gold bar right here by Pamp Swiss. What you can do right now is diversify your portfolio to fight off what's gonna happen in the next year. And we talk about it all the time when this bad boy fires up once again by buying gold and silver. Take a quiz below. You'll see a couple companies that'll come out recommended. Depending on your situation, you might get one or you might get the other. But there are companies that Greg and I have personally vetted on this channel, Tag Economy. Please like and subscribe, by the way. We do this all the time. We're gonna keep you up to date on when this bad boy's firing up again and what's gonna happen to my price of chicken wings and steak all the time. So please subscribe to us. But buying that now at a price right now that's a little bit deflated because of current events right now and the government shutdown not happening is gonna help you in the long run. There are people out there calling for this bar currently priced under $1,900 an ounce. This right here is worth just under $1,900 to go as high as 5,000. There are some people that even say it's gonna go up to 75,000. Wherever it lands, I don't care. This is gonna be worth more than this and I've shown you in past videos when you hold it over time. Gold and silver are the best way to protect your retirement portfolio and to have it in a safe for store value in your just personal collection. For me, I have it in my retirement. I've got a couple bars at home, a couple in a safe at a bank. But having your retirement is very easy. The quiz below will lead you to companies that can do this for you. Most people have about 10% of their wealth. For Ray Dalio, that is in the billions of dollars, right? He just bought $400 million of gold in 2020. People are allocating more money to gold and silver, Robert Kiyosaki, all the time. It's gonna go up, inflation is here, the economy's getting bad, we're entering an election year, it's gonna be nasty, it's gonna be brutal. Take five to 20%, of your portfolio, your retirement portfolio, most importantly, that's the one you gotta look out for because if that thing dwindles and the, and the economy tanks and you're not in gold and silver and you're in equities and mutual funds, you gotta watch out. You really gotta watch out for what's out there. You don't wanna go down 30, 40, or even more percent if you're nearing retirement. Holding these can save your retirement. Let's watch what happens. Thank you for watching. Remember to take that quiz below and please go to tageconomy.com and join our newsletter if you want more information like this and to get alerted of new videos. Thanks for watching.